just to make sure that they spread it like the plague. So, uh, all right. This leads us to the array, but I feel like it leads us elsewhere. If that makes any sense. Nope. Just a peaceful, tranquil meadow down there. And I've already gotten that secret. I can feel that based on the exploration I do. You know what I mean? I got the loot. Got the loot. You think the only animal I ride are spamble? Yeah, I'm an outdoorsman. I'm more of an outdoorsman myself. I feel like there's a big animal down further down the path and I don't feel like fighting it. Alright, see, now I'm fighting an optional boss and you, and I don't appreciate that at all. What is your rush? Styling and profiling, good times. Can't hit me. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go save the uh, Jawas. Like we got some potential victims over that way. Oh yeah, I, I heard you, bro. It, it's not potential victims. Everybody, I told you, I'm still crashing out. What a family? What? What a family? Yeah. I, Oh yeah, I, I'm taking I'm taking after Bo. 
Oh uh, yeah, this is about my family. Well, it took the Dominic Toretto way out. Yeah, it was about his family. It wasn't. But, yeah. <laughs> Crazy. He had the Toretto excuse, and I wasn't hearing it. You know, Everyone this wasn't was... this wasn't about your family because we were family. No. How, did, how did RDC it say? You think? Truth. How did RDC say? What you think? I ain't your brother, man. Fuck you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Huh? Damn! I just see this shit. You didn't drive how we drove. You want family. I told you never trust a man with a jetpack. I was a pilot for two years. <laughs> and you know what we had out there? We didn't have friends on that in that in that sky. <laughs> we had family. You could only trust in something thicker than something closer than friends. Family. What the hell just happened? Oh shit! Dang, you they died, just dropped me cool. off. Yeah, they just dropped me off the wall for no reason. I'd probably be buying. Yeah, for no reason, son. Yeah. No reason. You're a wise guy, eh? Let's not make this any messier than it needs be. You took a wrong turn, I think. Nah. Enough yapping! I'm crashing out! Crash time. Uh, that was a waste of a crash out. I mean, it wasn't a fool though. Yeah. Be no free, food. little Jawas. <laughs> Be free, little Jawas. Oh, hey. I appreciate it. Oh, no, Just asking that mango talente. Gerber type ice cream. Bro, I've been snacking on them Reese's ice creams all day. Yeah? Oh, yeah, the Reese's, Reese's? Um, cones. Oh, yeah, they got that. peanut butter and they got chocolate. Huh. Alright, so no. Just to make sure that they spread it like a plague. So I describe my dream girl as really, really vague. <laughs> I like your eyes in their bluish, brownish, greenish color. I like your hair and your fingerprints are like no other. I like when you smile that you smile wide. And I love how your arms have a torso on, a, torso on either side. Los, I know what you're thinking. What the hell are you doing? I'm going to liberate these Jawas. Liberate? Yeah. The Bedlam Raiders are holding them hostage. They're mad because, as the lady said, Jawas would sell their kids if they got thought they'd get a good price. I mean, so would she, but she doesn't like the competition. That's crazy. Raiders. Trying to destroy the camp. Glad you're going to free someone, man. Oh uh, yeah, evil I'm not sneak. completely evil yet. He's not gonna. You say he ain't gonna. Uh, no, I don't think he would. But you know, maybe the writers might listen in. This. Yeah, maybe the maybe the writers will listen to this obscure YouTube channel and be like, "Yeah, you know, we were gonna make him go dark side fully, but." Uh, they already figured it out. Well yeah, because it's, it's extremely rare that any real Jedi goes full dark side. I mean, so that, but that was the problem supposedly with Kylo Ren, right? Yeah, he, he was, exactly. He couldn't even go full dark side. I mean, the, the whole problem with the Sith legacy is that the Sith hate the Jedi for the first hyperspace war. But I can't hate you for a war that I wasn't even around for. You know what I mean? 
that's not yeah. my beef. So that's why a lot of Sith in modern history are trying to hold supremacy over the galaxy. Give us liberation or give us pain. Freedom! <laughs> Be free, little Jawas. Teach a dinosaur to ride a bicycle. Are you all okay? I'm not sure what that means, but you all look safe. If you need any supplies, you should stop by the Rambler's Reach Outpost. Yeah. See you around. Oh! You seem pleased, huh? Okay. Maybe they're happy they have somewhere to do business. Reese is gonna love this. Hey, little guys that aren't okay I don't think they just they uh, thought anybody would go this far and look all the way through because uh yeah I mean liberation. yeah <laughs> yeah cuz uh, there was nobody in those other two robes can I do it can I do the perfect dismount no nope. I was trying to drop off of the bat thing so onto the thing one of the... I thought you fought around and dive. Like, damn. Yeah, for a second I almost did. Hello, wee <laughs> Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. What you gonna do? Ah! He hit me! Ah! He hit me again! Don't run! I need you! Run! 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 Ah! Chico coming! Run! Got him! It's safe. Get up! Alright, alright! We are... Back in the jungle where the lady told me to go find Scuba Steve. That's right. That's I ride looking for him anyway. Well, I, I, I only look for her because look for Scuba Steve because she told us to look for old Scuba. Death from above. Sucks to be you right now, buddy. Uh... All right, so I don't think I'm going to find what we're looking for. So as soon as I get back to a checkpoint, I'm just going to go to Rambler's Reach and show you the cool stuff we got. Because I don't really care about that side story with the guy going crazy and killing his brother. Because we're not going to get it again. Seeing as to how uh, we didn't get Bolt Second Echo. So I'm going to show you some of the cool stuff that I didn't show you last time. Because there was like a chessboard game where you could uh, battle other pieces. Now they have a thing where you... Uh, Oh, I do need to help this little droid, though. Do you? Yeah, there's a little um, pod racer maintenance droid that mm -hmm. hits his uh, scooter. His uh, lift got stuck in um, tar. So. Nigga got a lift? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's, very, it's hard to explain. I didn't know that they, you know, was that progressive. They actually had lifts. You know what I mean? Like, it's like a little. Change. No, 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 no. 
It's uh, no, like, like a, <laughs> it's like a little <laughs> hover thingy. It's very hard for me to explain it right now. That would be wrong. I like hover, like real hoverboards, like um Marty McFly hoverboard. Listen, I was promised flying cars. Where Dang. are uh, we? Should have knew. We should have knew we weren't getting those once motherfuckers couldn't learn how to regular drive a regular car. Then they gonna trust listen. us in the air. Boy, listen, that would be chaos. Bro, it'd be death like every other man. Oh yeah, people crashing in the sky. Um, remember when cars first came out? Think this about, is an think actual about fact. drunk drivers that'd be flying to the ground. Think about how much debris would be raining on your head. Fucked well, up gas in the ozone layer. Whatever they use in the power of the cars. Directly. Like, into I, was, the I was watching um what shit. Oh, the fifth element one day. And I was just thinking about it like damn. All those cars in the air, like gas type shit that they was using. Mm-hmm. Everybody sick. Yeah. They gotta be sick as fuck. It's a thick ass layer of smog in the air. In that movie. It gotta be sick, bro. Like, fucking. Come on, come on, man. Come on, man. I, I ain't got no fire. Come on, come on. I ain't got no fire. <laughs> that was a decent movie. Mm. Shout out to Bruce Willis. Thick as fuck right now, but hope his speedy recovery. I thought he was uh, not alive anymore. Heck no, he's still alive. That's John McClane. <laughs> Are you saying that he dies hard? Man, bro, he he never dies hard. How many movies he made? Not dying hard, which all of them was he was supposed to die hard. And he never did. So shoot the gloss. <laughs> Why? Why'd you have to go straight there though, bro? Like, come on, go so, uh, Shoot the gloss. Stop, stop. Man, that was a comical slash action pack fucking. That was, that was, oh, man, that's legacy. And they though. tried the old trick of framing it around the Christmas time, though it yeah. came out in July, so it'll be a yeah. Christmas movie. Yeah. <laughs> so it'll be Christmas in July. Yeah. Yeah. That's where Carl Winslow got to start, the first one. Thomas Thomas. Well, I ain't gonna say his start because he was for it. That was where he was an actual actor instead of having to share yeah. screens, yeah. share the screen with, did I do that? To be a honey, a lot of people I'm say, that, you know, pick on Jaleel White, but, um. Uh, he was the voice of Sonic. I don't pick on him. I'm just saying. Yeah, not even just that. Like, they said on the <laughs> set as a kid, because you know, before he did that, he did something else. Hold on. Oh yeah, I got you, buddy. There. Now you can get to it. Oh yeah, our community's coming along, bro. bro. But yeah, sorry. Uh, they say he he did a lot more uh, helping out and you know, giving ideas in the writing room as a kid, <laughs> and that's why most of the show started becoming based on him. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because it, whether we know it, the first ep, just the first season, like just the first season was the families like learning, and and you know what I'm saying. But then oh, after yeah, it was that, actually it was about the family. Pure, and then it, it was became pure about comedy. Yeah. It was like the second season. It was more him. Mhm. Mm then after that, it was fully him. Shit, shit was based around him. Yeah, Urkel was a lot of the plot. Shit. And then I had a thought that only blackout drunks and Steve Urkel can have. Did I do that? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. He said... Bro, that's hard. Only Bro, blackout John drunks. 
<laughs> yeah, Which John. Yeah, John Mulaney was talking about he went to a party in high school, and he was like, um, one of the teacher's kids was um, one of their classmates. So the kid wanted to be cool and decided to have a, a, a party at his house. But yeah. nobody liked his dad. So the obviously, teacher. yeah. So obviously, everybody was like, we're going to f this place up when we go to this party. Yeah. So the um, kid is like, um, his parents are freaking out because somebody came to the party. Uh, someone took a shit in the, uh, on the dining room table. Um, the, everybody mm -hmm. left their beer cans everywhere. That's not what they're worried about. Somebody stole antique pictures of his grandmother. And he's like, and then I had a, a thought that only blackout drunks and Steve Urkel can have. Did I do that? And I was never really sure until I was hanging out with a friend a few years after we graduated. And he's like, hey, John, come here. I got something to show you. And by the way, nothing good ever happens when someone tells you that sentence. <laughs> so so he's like uh, the guy shows him and he's like why well, he had a, um, a closet inside of his closet and he's like this is looking worse by the second and on the wall of the closet was a bunch of antique pictures and he's looking at his friend and he's like why why would you do that and he's like because it's the one thing you can't replace <laughs> sick. Yeah, 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 that's a sick man. Uh, what kind of wall is this? I'm just making sure I got my nooks and my crannies before we head back to town. All right, we got our. Oh, no, I've been community building, actually. Hmm. That little pit droid, come to find out, um, little homie now works at Pylon Saloon with me. Yeah, my big family, he's a part of it now. Yeah, my little pit droid, he's not my friend. He's my family. It's him. Nope, that's not the door I want. <laughs> All right, so the sweetest part of this is the hollow table. Come on, dude, don't do this to me right now. Hey, cow, good to see you. What's up, Monk? Hey, Terrell. I mean, Turgle. Oh, shit. Not that I've seen. Oh, thank goodness. Thought I was going to have to book it for a second there. Are there people out to hurt you? Only always. But I owe these Zabrak quite a few credits for a, an incident I was involved in. You get into a lot of trouble, don't you? The less you know, the better. Trust me. I usually get a piece of uh, pie right or something out of that, but yeah, I've already done that. Scuba right. stiff. So we <laughs>
I became his first mate. Shortly after my promotion, we were on our way to Manan to sell the carcass of a goober fish. But, bam! Just as we dove out of hyperspace and the great ocean world streaked into view, so did she. Oh, no, Scooby would have The most glorious creature I'd ever beheld. A whale of marvelous proportion. But swimming through Manan's orbit like it was nothing but an easterly current back home. I was transfixed. No kidding. How close did you get? Funny you should ask. I didn't have long to set my eyes about before he crashed headlong into her. The grapnel bounced off her like chum of fortune. We plummeted down to the ocean, sundering the grapnel on the sea floor, where a gang of pirate quarren were holed up. The filthy Zephyrs. We swam out of the riven hull and found ourselves surrounded by quarren. Demanded all manner of things, including our bounty of fish. So, away we swam, Captain White, the crew, and myself. But, blind as we were at such depth, we shortly ran into a dead end, finding ourselves surrounded by quarren. Find me again, and I'll continue the tale. <laughs> I'm glad you're here for this because the day that I learned how to play Knights of the Old Republic in, um, on um, computer, you're going to need to know a lot of this. Manan is an ocean planet. It's a planet that's just water. Like, um, remember that planet in Clone Wars, Attack of the Clones, um, where the clone people were from? Geon uh, not Geonosis. Um... Uh, hold on, wait a minute. I, I, the name escapes me right now. Camino, Camino, the planet, the water planet Camino, where the cloners are from. It's kind of like that, but it has a bunch of fish people and Quarren. And that's where he's from. No, he's from Sakavitar. Uh, oh, Quarren are like squid guys, and that's what he was talking about. Remember when um. Turgo asked, did I see some Zabrax, Zabrax out there looking for him? Yeah. That's what Darth Maul was, a Zab Zabrak. So that's... Yeah, 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 yeah. No, they're, they're not all red. He, he, Darth Maul paints himself. Are they white, full white, like that? Uh... They're normal people colors, like tannish. Oh, okay. Yeah, like Marin, she's a Dothmirian, so she's most likely pale. It, no, she's not. She's not. She's just pale because of she gets no sunlight where she comes from, most likely. All right, so this is the hollow table. Let me make a As you can see, we have set up the game of Hollow Tactics here in Kailoon Saloon. I'm Kel. Glad you made it back safe. I'd say the same to you, but it seems there is no doubt that you can handle yourself. I see you have a companion droid. They can add to your Hollow Tactics deck by scanning combatants. Uh, got it. The more scans BD collects, the more options I'll have in the game. <laughs> exactly. Of course, there is nothing stopping you from playing right now. Oh, all right. It's time for some hollow tactics. All right, so they all have a different rank, and they all have different rewards. I've gotten all of these rewards, so we're doing this for the fans. And as usual, Turgle is completely clueless, so we're going to put... <laughs> This boy out there, mm. and this guy. Oh, okay. Hopefully you that stick. You'll never beat me. Okay, so um, points carry over. That's why I'm trying to get a good diversity. Go! Oh, it never 
never stood a chance. Yeah, I'm doing you damage, bro, bro, bro. And Cal takes one out. Some smart moves from Cal see him through to the next round. All right, so you see how it says battle points carried over. So now I start off with 14 instead of 12 points. So I can invest 10 into this guy and four into him. Mm -hmm. Combat. Right, uh, in the oh. An expert play by <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Do we? <Very> yep. Impressive. <laughs> All right, so now we go on to someone a little more, a little bit more of a challenge. Greasy money, baby. All right. Jeez. Uh... <laughs> No, nah, because I'm trying to... And it's a oh, he done. He done. Oh, <laughs> Outstanding. Eight points carried over. I, don't, I want my purge trooper behind the other ones because uh, I don't want him getting into no distressing situation early. And it's off the board. Yeah, you see how the, you see how it works. Stronger units cost more, but they work out better in your favor. So, like, instead of just throwing out. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay, so I can <laughs> just throw out a big ass Scryton right now. Yeah. All right. And then I could also get a Magna Droid since we're on the last ra round. Let the battle begin. Yeah, you see the Scryton's not taking any damage because they can't there we go. Oh, you want to hit the one? Oh, uh, yeah. The Magna Guard somebody didn't gonna, even have to gonna try to, You're going to run into somebody that got that stick for you. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Why don't we raise the stakes a little bit? Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to run into somebody that's good at it. Of my 